In this video, we're going to talk about simple machines, specifically the lever. The lever is a, a simple machine that allows you to perform the same work with less effort. It allows you to multiply the force that you apply. Now, the lever is balanced at the fulcrum, and the location of the fulcrum determines the mechanical advantage of the system. The mechanical advantage of this simple machine is equal to the output force divided by the input force. Now, if you want to increase the force generated by this machine, you want to apply the input force at the longer side. Let's say if we apply an input force of, let's say 100 newtons. And let's say that the distance between the fulcrum and the point where you apply the input force, let's say that's four feet. And let's say the distance on the other side is one feet. What do you think the output force will be on this side, on the left side of the lever? On the left side, the output force is going to be four times greater because the distance between where the output force is applied and the lever is four times less. And so four times 100 is 400 newtons. Thus, using this formula, if we take the ratio of the output force divided by the input force, this gives us a mechanical advantage of four. So this means that using leverage Using this simple machine, rather, we can multiply the input force by a factor of four. And that's the advantage of simple machines. They allow you to perform, they allow you to do the same work with less effort. Now, there is a cost, though. Even though you're using less force, you need to apply that force over a longer distance. So notice that we need to apply a force of 100 on the side that's four meters long. And we can get a greater force that's applied over a shorter distance. The torque around the center of rotation, or the axis of rotation rather, is the same. Torque is equal to the force times the lever arm. So on this side, the torque is gonna be a force of 100 times four feet and so that's going to be 400 newtons times feet. Now, if we calculate the torque on the other side of the fulcrum, that is on the left side, it's going to be the output force of 400 times one feet. So that's going to be the same, 400 newtons times feet. So the torque is the same on both sides. But nevertheless, we were able to change the force based on the location of the fulcrum. If we were to place the fulcrum in the middle, there would be no mechanical advantage. The input force will equal the output force, and there's really no point. I mean, except if you want to build a seesaw or something. I mean, that's fun for kids, but if you want to increase the force of this simple machine, you want the fulcrum to be somewhere other than the middle. The closer the fulcrum is to the edge of one side of the lever, the greater the mechanical advantage of the system will be. So here's another example. Let's say we have a lever that is very long. We're gonna put the fulcrum here, such that this part is, let's say one meter. Let me put this over here. And we're gonna say that the other side is 10 times long. It may not be drawn to scale, but we'll go with this. Let's say it's 10 times long. Now, if we were to apply an input force of 100 newtons on the right side, what's gonna be the output force? For those of you who want a formula, the input force times the input distance, or we could say that F1 D1, that's gonna equal F2, D2. The torques have to be the same here. Now we know we're going to get a larger force 
on the shorter side. But what is the value of this larger output force? Well, if we take the ratio of the two distances, 10 divided by 1 is 10, that tells us that the output force is going to be 10 times greater than the input force. So if we multiply 100 by 10, the output force is 1,000 newtons. So using leverage, we can multiply the force that we exert on this simple machine, which can make us perform work that's difficult to do with less effort. However, we have to apply that smaller force over a longer distance, and that is the catch. So the mechanical advantage for this example is 10, since the force was multiplied by a factor of 10. So that's the math behind this particular simple machine, the lever. There are other simple machines out there. You have the ramp, the inclined plane, the screw, the woolen axle. You also have the pulley system. So there's a lot of machines out there that you could use to multiply the force that you input to this, to this simple machine. There's also the hydraulic lift system, which uses fluids to multiply forces.